need it. Ain't that right, Toby? I know, right? I mean, really. What could possibly go wrong? Well, the only thing we have to fear about is fear itself. Wait a minute. Hold everything. What is that? What is that? Oh my lord. It's a letter that came from the sky. <sighs> oh god. It's the first sign that this movie is gonna be one of those good guys versus the bad guys movies with cliche moments and seizure inducing explosions. I don't know about you, but I'm gonna give this letter a chance, okay? Well, what does it say? Hold on, let me clear my throat real quick so I can read it clearly. <coughs> That's better. It says here that. If we do not become extinct immediately, then we will be forced to be moved out of the island by an army. Man, that doesn't sound good. Who signed the letter? Diesel 10. What? Oh lord, I think I must have upset a Thomas with my words. Did I just hear what I think I just heard? Uh, what did you hear? The fact that Diesel Ted's gonna try to take over the island again! What? Oh, that's ridiculous. Uh, uh, okay, yeah, he's actually gonna take over the world. Ugh, that person never learns his lesson. Don't worry, Edward. Percy, James, and I... <laughs> I said... Percy, James, and I. Wait, run that by me one more time? Oh, I was just thinking, maybe you can come with us to... Pass. Well, me and Percy will have to go look for Diesel 10 ourselves. Be careful. <laughs> came back. Uh, who would have known such old people would get puberty so quick? Oh. Hey, be quiet for a moment. Wait, why? Can you hear anything? Not really. Just testing if you had ears or not. Look, we... All don't have ears. Why would you think that? Well, I actually heard someone breathing really loudly behind us. What? No fair! I'm so quiet. Ugh. Man, for trains who have no ears, you certainly hear like rabbits. Come on now, guys. The secret's over. You've been caught. Someone was behind us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now listen here. If you go anywhere near that tunnel, then there will be some very dastardly consequences. What are you even talking about? There's nothing you can do to us here. Oh, I'm trusting you that this will be the craziest fight you'll ever experience in your whole life. Yeah, nice plastic weapons and costumes, but we gotta go to survive. We'll show you a good goodbye. FIRE! Wait, are those weapons for real? Come on, we gotta get out of here. You know what would be cool? If we were able to take these fools down in widescreen format! Hey, that's not a bad idea. In fact, I'm gonna make that happen right now. <laughs> hmm? Ooh. Alright. 
Now it's time to fight. Now let me just get this blaster to blue and we'll be ready to go. What is up with you two? I'm sorry, but they're too fast. We tried everything. They're running in a straight line! Oh, just let me deal with them. can't get into our boss's lair. Um, you do realize that they escaped, right? Wait, what? Ah, oh, if the boss gave us target practice, then those trains could have been dead right now. There he is. <laughs> Alright, Diesel 10, you tell us what's going on now, or else. Or else what? I mean, you're so defenseless against me that my army can take you down in a heartbeat. Huh, you and what army? Questioning my army, huh? Well, that's what I was about to introduce. Um, that's only six people. Ah! Seven counting the horse. Now here's your punishment for sucking at math. Man, I sure am the coolest engine on Sodor. Gordon, did you really need to say that for the billionth time already? Hey, at least I say it less than James does. Okay, that's enough arguing, you two. We have a big schedule tomorrow, and I don't want you to miss it all. So anyways, here's your jobs for tomorrow. Huh, sounds like Thomas and Percy are coming back. I wonder what they have been doing. And oh my god! To you two. Well, let's just say we've been attacked twice. Hmm, that doesn't sound very good. This can only mean one thing. Guys, meet up with me tomorrow. Because I have an idea that will blow that diesel to smithereens.